All right, hey guys, yo, what's up? It's finally here. It's something I've been super excited for. Kingdom Hearts 3 is finally out. And so today we're taking about the Kingdom Hearts 3 Bring Arts. So Sora Donald, Donald Duck, because that's his official form name. And Goofy Toy Story version. This is the form they take on when they visit Toy Box, aka the Toy Story World. So there's a world where they turn to toys. And so Square Enix made actual toys out of them. Ooh, who would have thought that they did that? So first of all, let's take a look at the box. Here they are. They, they were released only as one big bundle so far and uh, you could only get this on their Square Enix online shop they weren't released publicly they weren't re given a public release only an online release and that sold out very fast uh, if I remember correctly so Donald so I mean sorry not Donald there's Goofy, Sora and Donald we see their weapons some accessories and a keyblade for which we'll get into later with Sora's review so side of the box here is side of the box just logos you, know, you got various logos box shows you you can do poses and everything with them show you all these cool shots you can do once again there's Sora, Donald Duck and Goofy Toy Story version uh let's see side up the box down the box nothing much just basic logo stuff so pretty much a big bring our box because it's the because it's a giant box so there you go nothing really else to say about this big box <laughs> All right, so here we have Donald Duck himself right out the box. And but before we take a look at the actual figure, you guys always know how we do on this channel. If you guys did not know how we always do it on this channel, we always take a look at the accessory he comes with first before we take a look at the actual figure. So before we actually take a look at Donald, let's see what he comes. With. He comes with quite a limited amount of accessory. First off, we have his default staff, the mage staff. Really disappointed this isn't a world specific uh, staff you get. That kind of sucks. And you, this little bit right here does pop off for you to put on the figure so keep that in mind is how you put this on the figure so I mean it's a cool staff I'll give it that this is probably one of my favorite uh, staff default staff anyway pretty one is basic staff I mean it looks like a ghost wearing a hat or a blue mage wearing a hat but mainly it looks like a ghost wearing a hat so that's pretty cool next he comes with two hand uh, two closed fisted hands for him to punch stuff because in case he ever gets angry and you want to duck to punch something then you get one hand to actually hold the mage staff so that's pretty much it for his head he has a very small amount of accessory accessory uh, that much honestly really this point that they gave him the mage staff and not a the world specific um, item you could get that so that kind of sucks you know but other than that it's pretty good for what what it is but of course because they had to give all the attention to sword you can't you can't really get sword outclassed by Donald Duck obviously so so now you know all right, so let's actually take a look at Donald Duck himself. So first, so let's look at his design. Like I said, so when they go to Toy Box, they, they all become action figures. So he has a blocky, woodenly design. He's really rectangular, if I have to say it. So first off, he has a cool little uh, little hat. There you go. You can't really do it. The hat's stuck on there. Um, I mean, his design is cool. I, I, I like this design. I, I like what they did with it. I like this coat he has. The black and blue looks really good, you know. Uh, I, I dig this alpha bear than his regular outfit. Um, and then pretty much something else, he doesn't wear pants, so Donald Duck doesn't wear pants. Keep that in mind. You guys never realize that, have you? He Donald Duck does not wear pants, so 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 articulation wise um, he has a head you can move it around. He can move he does have good articulation on his head, so you can get a lot of range of motion with his with him. Uh, his beak doesn't move obviously, so keep that in mind. Uh, shoulders, yep, he has shoulder joints, he can move his arm around, elbow joints, he can move it to wave, uh, hands yeah, you can swivel it. You can move it around. Uh, no articulation, whatever, whatsoever in his actual body. This is all just one giant piece of plastic. So, so you, there's not really. You're not expecting much with his body. Um, feet wise, he can kick. He has a kick. Uh, he has a knee joint, so you can't kick it right there. And he has a foot, so you can't kick with your. So he can do kicking foot things. And he can stand by him. Wait, can he? Uh, no, never mind. I thought he could stand by himself. Oh, wait, can he stand by him? Stand up on one foot? Uh, you do that, I guess. So that, that, does that count as him standing up on one foot? I guess so. So yeah, so pretty much, a pretty much basic figure. Like, there's nothing really special. He doesn't have really a lot of articulation uh, with his point, except for his hand and legs, so. Which I was expecting, because there's not really much you can be doing with Donald Duck's body, so. Yeah, so overall, I'm still pretty pleased with it. So, in the end, one of my final thoughts about the Bring Art Sora, Sora, Donald, and Goofy uh, Toy Story Toy Box version action figure, Kung Fu, Karate Chop, batteries included. 
uh, bring art figures. I mean, I dig them. They're super cool. I like how they, I like how they turn the actual figures from the game into actual figures. Because let's be real here. As soon as we saw saw that they were turned to figures, Square Enix was probably gonna release figures of them anyway because they didn't want to miss out on this opportunity. I mean, I dig them. They're super cool, super meta, but I'm super meta Joe. Um, Sora's definitely my favorite out of bunch because because he's the protagonist and he gets a cool keybait. If you if you're collecting the the Bring Art sign, you get another keybait to add to your Sora. Bring Arts Keyblade line now, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, Goofy is probably a good second. Um, he feels weird at times. Don't know if that's just my figure or if there's wrong, something wrong with the actual figure himself. Donald Duck is definitely the weakest because he does have going on. Because let's face it, nobody likes Donald. He doesn't heal you, so, so he doesn't really do anything much. Um, should you pick up and should you get these? Um, as of right now, these have only been released on the Square Enix store, and they haven't set any plans of re releasing this bundle or re release or re-releasing them as individual figures, but knowing Square Enix, they don't like missing out on money. They will probably, at some point, probably re-release them as ind individual figures. I hope they do, because that will be super great and everything. Um, but, because right now, like I said, they're, they're only available online, and you really can't get online from ordering through a special Square Enix store bundle deal, and you really can't get it anywhere else. That kind of sucks. I mean, you can go on eBay or something like that and pay outrageous scalpel price, but we don't, we don't do that here, so. So if in the future they ever do get re-released, definitely pick up the set because they're super cool. I really love their toy, their toy design. In fact, their actor toy designs with actual toys. If you get what I'm saying. So of all, they're pretty great and pretty cool and everything. That's pretty much all I had. I really have to say for these guys. Like I said, super meta, super cool. Um, stay tuned after some weird, creepy anime pictures, and I'll see you next time. And uh, Kate, thanks. Bye.